succession concludes with a relatively stable climax community. Traveling around the Earth, the types of climax community vary dramatically from one area to another. For example, the northeast coast of Australia is blanketed by an ancient rainforest. Climax desert communities populate much of the southwestern United States, while savannas, holding an incredible diversity of animal life, spread across much of Central Africa. The exact nature of the climax community is determined by numerous geological and climactic variables, including temperature, rainfall, elevation, latitude, type of rock, which influences the type of nutrients available, exposure to sun and wind, and many more factors, including human activity. For example, human activities have dramatically altered the climax vegetation in large tracts of the American West. By overgrazing cattle on western grasslands, ranchers have enabled sagebrush, which cattle refuse to eat, to outcompete the native grasses, which cattle have been allowed to graze and trample to the point of destruction. Once the sagebrush takes hold, grasses are unable to regain their dominant position in the climax community. Some ecosystems are not allowed to reach the climax stage, but are rather maintained in the sub-climax stage. The tall grass prairie that once covered northern Missouri and Illinois is actually a sub-climax of an ecosystem whose climax community is deciduous forest. The prairie was maintained by periodic fires, some set by lightning and others deliberately set by Native Americans to increase grazing land for buffalo. Forest now encroaches on most tall grass prairies and limited prairie preserves that remain are maintained by carefully managed burning. Agriculture also depends on the artificial maintenance of carefully selected subclimax communities. Grains are specialized grasses characteristic of early successional stages, and much of a farmer's energy goes into preventing competitors like weeds and shrubs from taking hold in agricultural fields. Likewise, suburban lawns, golf courses, and athletic fields are also subclimax ecosystems that require painstaking maintenance to keep crabgrass, dandelions, and other successional invaders at bay. 